If you're trying to build muscle, never, ever, ever do these three things before your workout. All right. Number one, guys, never train fasted. If you're trying to maximize the amount of muscle that you're putting on your frame, training fasted is a horrible idea. Horrible idea. You need carbs to fuel your workout. Carbohydrates are your body's main source of fuel. So if you're working out completely fasted, you're missing a window to fuel your body for the workout that it's going to be doing. You're also missing a window of opportunity for muscle growth because by having a meal before you work out consisted of protein and carbs, you're going to prevent the breakdown of excessive tissue, obviously prior to that because you fasted. So, you know, let's say like you wake up in the morning and then you go and work out, but you've also slept for eight hours a night. So now you're pushing yourself further into uh, a, a breakdown period. So you want to prevent that breakdown, have the muscle, uh, the fuel for your muscle building session. You're also going to spike muscle protein synthesis. You're going to have those raw ingredients available in your system to help your body recover because we don't grow in the gym. We grow outside of the gym. And when the recovery process actually starts before we actually train with a before workout meal. Okay. And for these before workout meals, you want to keep them really low in fat. So you can get these nutrients into the muscles as fast as possible. So by keeping the fat intake low, we slow that we don't slow down the digestion of the food and those ingredients are readily available for the workout that we're going to be doing. And your body will have good, adequate amounts of fuel for the training session you're going to be doing. If your goal is to build muscle. You have to kind of go to war with yourself every time you're in the gym. And in order to do that, you need to do it fueled. If you're not fueled, you're not going to be as strong promise you. Now, again, every person is different. I have trained fasted in the past, and I will tell you that I've always put on more muscle and gained more muscle when I never, when I didn't train fasted. Okay. So don't train fasted, have a meal, focus on building muscle, giving your body the ingredients it needs to build muscle. All right. Number two, never use a pre-workout or caffeine alone. And what I mean with this is some guys, they train fasted, take a scoop of pre-workout, they dry scoop it down and they go to the gym. Horrible, horrible idea. You need to be properly hydrated before your workout because your body uses water for everything. Obviously we need water. If we didn't have water, I think it's like within three days we'd be dead or something like that. But you need water to fuel your workout. Your muscles are full of two things, carbohydrates, glycogen, and water. For every three for every gram of carbohydrates we store, we store three grams of water with that carbohydrate. So water is extremely, extremely important before a workout. Now, the reason why I'm talking to you about water and telling you not to use caffeine with that or not to use caffeine alone is because caffeine dehydrates you. So if you're not drinking enough water, you're taking something that dehydrates you, your muscle that's mostly made of water is going to be weaker. A 1% reduction in water will equal a 10 to 20% reduction in strength. Now, what that means is if you're not as strong, you're going to lose strength in the gym. You're not going to have the endurance that you need to break records, and you're probably going to be putting on less muscle. So instead of having caffeine alone, you can still have the caffeine or the pre-workout, but just make sure you have at least 20 ounces of water with that. So this way you're going to be properly fueled for the workout. So I would probably have a little bit of water before that, then 20 ounces right before the workout. And then obviously sipping water during your workout goes a long way in making sure that you're one, very hydrated, and two, making sure that you're also very strong during your workout. Fun fact, most people actually walk around dehydrated and don't even know. So <laughs> I would definitely opt for a little bit more water as opposed to a little less, okay? And the third thing, never ever go into a workout without a plan. Most guys stroll into the gym. Eh, I think today's a back day. And then they get there, maybe they do chest. So there's no plan. A plan, you have to plan for success. So you need a solid program. A solid program, solid strength training program will help you to make progress, ensure progression, and give you an outline to what you should be doing. So for example, if today I'm training arms, I know, okay, today I'm training arms. I'm going to do this bicep movement, this bicep movement, this movement for tricep, this movement for triceps, and this movement for forearms. And I know, okay, I used this weight last time. I did this amount of reps. I want to try to beat that today. I feel good, blah, blah, blah. You can mentally prepare for that workout 
beforehand. And when you mentally prepare, you can actually go a little bit harder in the gym as opposed to like, all right, I think I'll do chest today. And then you get to the gym and you start doing chest and you're like, and eh, not really feeling it. You have plenty of time to mentally prepare for that. And if you don't have a solid plan or program to follow, I got you covered. I want to give you a free six week training program. What you got to do is click the links in the description below. Totally free, no strings attached. I just want to help you actually put on muscle and avoid all the mistakes that I made along my 20 year journey, right? So don't do those three things in the gym. And until next time, this was Anthony, AB Fitness, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.